we'd like to welcome our, our next um, panel of employers. We have Chang So, um, store manager of Hollister Super, Ver Verizon Wireless, er Erlen Lopez, and Christine Roach, general manager of Liberty Tax. Uh, Chang, could you introduce yourself? Tell us a little bit about your company and what top, uh, type of jobs you're hiring for. Sure. Um, we operate three locations in Hollister and San Juan Batista. Two locations are called Hollister Super in the city of Hollister, of course. And the third location is Windmill Market in San Juan Batista. We are a family operated and, and owned local company that basically has been uh, doing business for a little over 30 years now. Our primary focus is uh, for the two Hollister stores is uh, Hispanic trade. So we have a lot of Hispanic products. We have a lot of unique and uh, special kind of uh, cuts of meat as long as uh, produce items. While the third store, the Windmill Market, is kind of a more conventional store that has a little bit of a gourmet and a natural flair to it. The positions that we have open today or that I'm uh, offering to everyone are pretty much for the entire store. We believe that you really can actually create job positions for good people. There's never a way of never saying that we don't have space for these good people. So that would mean that in the produce department, uh, the knowledge that you would need for something like that would be, again, identifying your greens, knowing the difference between stone fruits, the seasonal fruits, things like that. Also being able to lift uh, heavy boxes. The meat department would also be kind of something where they'd be either meat cutters or runners um, working with the scales and things like that. And then, of course, the grocery uh, staff, which would be the front-end supervisors, the checkers, the baggers, courtesy clerks. Uh, again, our, our focus is always towards customer service, and we want to make sure that we provide excellent customer service to our customers, our fellow employees, our vendors, and that all customers leave the store with a smile. Thank you very much, Chen. Uh, Edlin, could you tell sure. us a little bit about Verizon Wireless and the jobs that you currently have Definitely. available? Awesome. Well, Verizon, uh, we're now a telecommunications company, right? Uh, we're offering products, offering services, but more so offering solutions to our customers. So hence, uh, I currently recruit for retail sales representatives, and we actually have openings in Gilroy. Uh, we have openings in Monterey, openings in Hollister, and openings in uh, Capitola. So those will be retail sales representatives. And the qualifications for a position of that sort would be, um, you know, some sales experience. Uh, it is a commission-based uh, environment, so we do need uh, individuals to have experience in the sales uh, department. Um, we're also looking for motivated individuals, right, with this commission uh, structure, uh, monthly quota, um, offering solutions to our customers is, is very important. Uh, but most importantly, the customer experience, right? We have, uh, as you already know, many other companies. Uh, we, we like to call them our challengers, so we need our representatives to offer a great customer experience, and that way we have our customers coming to us. Um, so you can apply online, uh, verizonwireless.com slash careers, submit your application, um, and a recruiter will be getting um, in contact with you. Not only do we have uh, openings here in this area, also stretching from the peninsula to Sacramento, so we have, we have many openings, uh, many opportunities. Um, this is a stepping stone for a lot of our representatives. Uh, you know, you start your career with Verizon. You start in retail, but there's so many different avenues that you can take. I'm one of them. I started in retail, and now I'm in the recruiting department. So it's it's definitely a start to your career, and, and it's an excellent company to, to work for, definitely. Success story, right, Ellen? Yes, <laughs> there you go. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Ellen. Uh, Christine, could you tell us a little bit about your company and the jobs that you're currently um, trying to recruit for? Absolutely. I'm with Liberty Tax Service. Um, our goal is to be the number one tax preparation company in the United States by 2020. Uh, we are already surpassing our goal of that. We have offices um, in Scotts Valley, Santa Cruz, Capitola, Watsonville, three in Salinas, Hollister, Marina, and Monterey, all hiring. We're hiring for tax preparation, uh, supervisors, um, office managers, and also waivers and independent marketers. Okay. Okay. As far as, um, I want to ask a question to uh, each one of the panelists. We're going to jump into the questions now. Is experience necessary for the positions that you're um, recruiting for? Uh, we'll start off with Chang and go down the panel. So experience is always going to be a plus, but we always train on, on, on location as well. So we just, we just need energetic people who are go-getters and who would and like to serve the customer. 
definitely very similar with with especially for a retail sales representative uh, since you're in a commission environment we do need some experience um, but training as well training from day one and training never ends we have product services always coming out so the training is never ending um, but some experience is required for, for this role okay thank you Anna. Uh, for our tax preparers, experience is not required. We have tax schools that are tuition free. Uh, we have morning, evening, Saturday courses where we certify um, our people through the state of California. We also would like experienced tax preparers as well. Um, and as far as the other positions, we do on the job training, so experience is not required. Okay. With the exception of Ellen, which had mentioned uh, where to apply, I'm going to go down the panel. For the viewers, if uh, you're interested in applying, uh, they're going to give you the information so you could uh, feel free and proceed. Uh, Chen? Yes, yeah, so like I mentioned earlier, we have three locations, two in Hollister, one in San Juan Batista. You can drop by at any of the stores, pick up an application, or leave a resume there, and we will get to it. Okay. Yeah, Edna? Yes, so verizonwireless.com slash careers. Uh, and as I mentioned, we not only have uh, opportunities here in this area, so what you do, you type in the city and state, and the um, if you're interested in sales, customer service as well for some locations, and then it'll list the different openings we have available online. Thank you. Uh, Christine? You can uh, email me at christine at livetaxhollister.com. You may also call us at 831-630-1040 or visit any one of our offices and apply or send a resume. Thank you, Christine. One last question before I give it to Carissa. Um, seasonal uh, help uh, coming around the, you know, it's going to ramp up. Um, the holidays are coming up. Uh, do you anticipate a ramp up in hiring in the month of uh, November and December for um, so we can let our viewers know? Um, for us, we don't really have as much of a seasonal holiday. Uh, Christmas and Thanksgiving, of course, gets, does get busier, but we are not kind of a retail store in that, that aspect. If anything, our seasonal uh, period is probably in the summer months. Summer months? Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Chen. Definitely. Hello. We're uh, <coughs> looking to, to hire for the holidays. Um, so we have a couple classes this month and two classes next month um, in order to get uh, started for the holiday season, definitely. Thank you. Anna. And I know, Christine, uh, tax season is coming up. So when is uh, the peak for you? Uh, typically, tax season starts in January. However, this year, our Liberty offices will be opening November 15th. Um, due to the Obamacare and the Covered California, we will be offering health and life insurance to our clients. Um, so we'll be opening our offices early this year, starting in November. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I have a question from Jenny in Gilroy. How long should my resume be? I'm older, but I have lots of experience. So uh, most people think it should be one page. What would you recommend? For me, uh, I would believe that depending on whatever the job description or the position that you're going for, it should focus towards that. Babysitting is not going to help me in terms of hiring a great grocery clerk and uh, mechanical engineering is not going to help me. But anything in retail sales and things like that would be very helpful. Yeah, definitely. Uh, your, your relevant experience is, is key. Um, because like you said, there's different job descriptions, right? I, I look differently at a resume when it's a customer service than a sales. Mm -hmm. um, and the length to me is important just because you're, you're looking at so many resumes. Um, I would mm -hmm. say, you know, the relevant experience would, would be very helpful. Okay. Same. I would agree with the other panelists. Um, however, I do know that most people say, you know, one page resume. I also am older and have a lot of experience. So typically you're going to see at least a two page resume, one and a half um, is the normal that I would see. Okay. And Richard called in from Hollister. He wants to know do you need to be bilingual for each position? Bilingual is not a necessity, it is a plus, but it's not necess necessary for the position. Okay. For our locations, um, Monterey and Capitola is not bilingual preferred, but Hollister and Gilroy is, just because of the, the population um, mm -hmm. preferred, but uh, definitely uh, not, you know, definitely you have to be bilingual. Okay. Terrific question. Um, it's not necessary, but it is obviously pre preferred. Mm -hmm. And Richard, I'm not bilingual, so we're good there. <laughs> <laughs> okay. um, so for Verizon, they want to know, do you get training for a new phone? So if I don't know about an iPhone 6, do you oh, train them on them? Yes, yes. The training uh, can be hands-on. Okay. Uh, the training can be online. So yes, that's knowledge about a product is essential. So yes, uh, we actually um, have the phones maybe a couple days before, just so the representatives can 
you know, get a sense of the phone and, you know, how are you going to sell something if you don't know what the product is all about. So yes, not to worry about that, definitely. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, for uh, Hollister Super, they, yes. let's see, Brenda and Gilroy wants to know, do you need to be certified to work as a butcher? Certified. We, would, I mean, if you go, went through some sort of uh, certification class, again, that would be a plus. Uh, again, like what I said earlier, we do train people at the store for that sort of stuff. Um, we do have a series of um, positions that gets people ramped up into full-on meat cutting, but certification wouldn't be a requirement. Okay. Now, for everyone, um, do you hire anyone? It's Efren from Hollister wants to know, do you hire anyone with a felony or maybe a background? Would that be an issue for any of the positions that you might have? Uh, for us, it's kind of hard to say. It depends maybe if that person wants to divulge that information. Uh, we don't ask about it. We, uh, we do uh, ask them uh, to put something down on the uh, job location regarding that kind of stuff. Um, but I know that we do have employees who haven't been the best uh, citizens in our community, but they turn out to be some of the best employees in our market. So with us, we, we do, um, it's a background investigation um, before you get hired. And it's a case by case, right? It, it, it all depends. It's a case by case. Okay. Uh, for us, it would depend on the position. Our tax preparers, that, that could be an issue, uh, depending on the offense. Um, but some of our other positions, such as our waivers, um, that is possible. Okay. All right. So I'm getting a lot of questions. Do you happen to have any manager positions? Manager positions. Like I said earlier, if you're good, we will find a position for you. So <laughs> come on over and apply, and we'll see if you fit. <laughs> okay. Michael and Gilroy, that's for you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Uh, right. And then as far as Verizon Wireless, so is there any manager positions we, though? We do a lot of our promoting from within. Okay. Um, we like our, our employees to get to know the company, um, to get to know the front end. Uh, so a lot of the promotions are done internally. Uh, after only one year, you can start applying to any assistant management position. Um, might there be any openings? Then um, I don't recruit for those, but if they're online, then definitely I uh, encourage to apply. Okay. Uh, Christine, Liberty Tax, do you have any management positions available? Yes, absolutely. With all the new offices we have opening, we do need managers, yes. Okay. Okay. Now, Sam from Morgan Hill wants to know, do you happen to offer full-time benefits for your positions? Benefits. Uh, we do offer some benefits. Uh, the healthcare thing has been quite a dicey subject lately, as uh, a, a couple of our panelists may know. Uh, we're still working through all the kinks on that one, but in terms of everything else, in terms of vacation and things like that, yes, we do. Yes, uh, from day one, uh, there's no trial period or mm -hmm. any, so medical, dental, vision, um, 401k savings, uh, great. Um, hourly and commission for the for the retail sales representative definitely okay thank you Christine? Uh, currently for us um, some of our positions management type positions if you're on your round with us there are some benefits most of them are seasonal type positions which do not have benefits mm -hmm. okay um, so in regards to resumes what would be your uh, number one tip for people bringing in resumes concise Okay. Get to the point, you know, again, be very uh, brief and also, I, I guess it's kind of hard to say brief and descriptive, but talk to the points about what would make you an excellent person for the position, an excellent team member for the store, and don't be too wordy. Definitely. Uh, I've always been told, and you know, look at the job description, right, and, and how what experience, what um, abilities, what skills do you have, and include that in your resume. Many times um, they'll mention great qualities, but none that have to do with a retail sales representative. So that would be my, okay. my advice. Um, I agree with the other panelists. In addition, if you are bringing in the resume, please remember that you need to present yourself in a professional manner and that your first impression does count. One more note is it's very important to have your name and contact information on any uh, application or resume. <laughs> yes. There's so what? many times we <laughs> get some great people who come in and they want to apply can't for a job. Them. But I don't know who this person is. It's just blank <laughs> on that part. So. 
Okay, so put a phone number maybe. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> Contact information would be very, very helpful. So as far as um, hours and days um, that they would be working, I know each company represents different hours and days. Um, Chang, could yes. you uh, elaborate? Sure. Uh, again, we open a, gar a grocery store, so our hours are, we're open a lot. Basically, we open the store at 6 a.m. every morning, and we close the store at 10 p.m. every day, every, every evening, which means that we have a morning shift, we have an afternoon shift, we have an evening shift, and sometimes we even have a graveyard shift. So again, if the person's there and they want to work a specific shift, or they have school, or they have other commitments, they can't basically, they need to, our, to schedule to work around, we try our best to accommodate for this, and we will try to basically get you the hours that you need, and also fulfill the needs of our business. Thank you. Edna? So, retail, uh, 9 to 9, Sundays, uh, 8 p.m., um, but we are flexible with uh, school schedules. Um, obviously, holidays, weekends, um, so demanding but rewarding as well. And, and there's some flexibility, um, you know, just speaking with the manager, definitely. Thanks. Uh, Christy? Our offices during our peaks are open from 7 a.m. to usually 10 p.m., six, sometimes seven days a week, depending on the office. Our hours are very flexible. We work with college students, we work with people with second jobs, and we work with people that want a full-time career. Um, so it really just depends on the applicant. Okay. Um, Rebecca on Facebook in Hollister um, is asking probably everyone's favorite question. Can she have two assignments going at once to make full-time if only part-time is offered? So essentially, can she work two different positions to get those full-time hours? I guess I go for it. Yes. Uh, the answer would be yes. If you have a fit, for example, in our service deli or taqueria, and then you also can fill a need within our checker or the meat department or something like that, as long as there's a need for somebody in that department, we can basically make it work. But again, it's really dependent on the need of the business, and sometimes people can't be in two places at one time. So the great thing about our part-time um, positions, it's 29 to 32 hours, so especially during the holiday season, there's time for voluntary overtime and a lot of candidates say that's not really part-time so it really isn't so 29 to 32 hours and um, that position in itself is requires a lot so it'd be kind of hard to <laughs> juggle too. Mm -hmm. A uh, great question. Yes, please. Cross training is great in our offices. Um, we really enjoy having people that are interested in more than one position. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll guarantee you more hours. So yes. <laughs> so which leads me to another question. Um, I know uh, each uh, one of your companies represents different locations. Would they be able to do, let's say, 20 in, let's say, Hollister and then 20 in San Juan Bautista or for you, 20 in Salinas or 20 in Capitola, vice versa? Uh, start off with Chen. Yes, that's definitely possible. I mean, we currently do that. We don't really promote that. Okay. But again, if the employee is a good employee, we want to keep them, and we, we basically try to bend backwards to accommodate them. There are times where business needs, a representative might be needed at, at the Selena store, but for the most part, um, it's it's one location, one be, location because of the business need of, of that location. Okay. Uh, uh, we do share employees between offices, so absolutely. Um, as much as we want them cross-trained within a particular office, we also want consistency within all of our stores. So we actually encourage uh, our employees to be at different stores to keep that consistency. Okay. Now, let's see, I'm getting a lot of questions about how do I apply. Some people might just be tuning in, so do we want to <laughs> reiterate that real quick um, for everyone on Facebook? Yeah, just come over to the stores and apply at mm -hmm. any of their three locations. That simple. All right. So verizonwireless.com slash careers, um, and just type in the city, uh, state, uh, and the type of position it will show you how to apply. You can email me at christine at livetaxhollister.com. Call us at 831-630-1040 or visit any one of our Liberty stores. Okay. Now, let's see. How many positions during the holidays would you say that you have, like a projection? Would you say you have maybe 20 openings or what would you say you're looking at right now? Uh, well, we just, again, uh, we don't really don't have a seasonal. I mean, our seasonal is more towards the summertime. So we run business as usual. We might have an influx of maybe an additional one or two people in the stores at, at, during the holiday times, but for the most part we run it pretty consistent. So currently we do have um, one opening for each location that I mentioned, Monterey, um, Hollister, Gilroy, and Capitola. 
Um, and it's based on business needs, right? Uh, we might have someone getting promoted, so that leaves a vacancy. We might have someone who needs to transfer to a different location. So it's, it's on a day by day, really. So there might not be an opening today at Salinas, but tomorrow there will be. So just going on our website, really. Okay. Christine? Uh, the holidays doesn't particularly impact our season. Our season uh, typically is your January through April, May. Again, I said November this year, so we're starting early. Um, so not necessarily for the holidays, but we have between our different offices hundreds of positions available right now. Okay. So I have a lot of those questions from Facebook and Twitter. And then what is your busiest season? But you all, you know, pretty <laughs> much explain that. Um, would you guys like to explain, you know, how long have you been working at your company and what's your favorite part? Okay. Um, well, I've actually haven't been with this particular company uh, for uh, for a terribly long time. Actually, I, I, I should rephrase that. Um, my father started the company, and so this is a generation a, a, a company that uh, the family basically built up from and started in, uh, what is it, 83 or 82. Uh, I came on board to basically help run the operations about 10, 12 years ago. But, you know, like any family owned operation, I basically lived in the grocery store, whether it was this particular one or the ones that, that he had prior. So I have a lot of wanted and maybe unwanted knowledge about the business. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I've been with the company for almost four years. And, and as I stated, I did start in the retail uh, channel uh, as a retail customer service, then um, tra transferred into operations side of the company, and now with recruiting. Um, so definitely uh, the opportunities are there with our company um, and, and it's the motivation that you have and what your plans are, right? Um, letting your managers know, letting them what you need to do to get to the next step. Um, but um, my favorite part about the company is that it's always changing uh, and it's exciting to see what's in you know near future for us. Uh, it's, it's technology is advancing and um, you know the solutions that we have for our customers, I think that's my favorite part about the company. This is my third year with Liberty Tax. Uh, my favorite part of the company is helping people. We help our clients. Uh, we also get to help people go great careers. Uh, we've had tax preparers that started last year that are now opening their own store this year. So it's really what you want to do and to be able to help them do that while you're helping your clients is just a wonderful career. Okay. Um, we have someone asking, let's see, Malia and Gilroy called in. She wants to know, do you happen to use temp agencies or staffing agencies to fill your openings? We do not. Okay. We try to hire everybody as, a, as a, either a full-time or part-time person right off the bat. Okay. We don't either. It's either uh, full-time or part-time. Okay. And part into the company. We currently do not, but we are exploring those options. Okay. Okay. All right. Do you have any other questions also? Um, th there was a question that came actually earlier um, that we can't see on the screen. Um, there was um, someone that actually had asked about, do you accommodate disabilities, uh, Chen? Oh yes, of course. Um, by law, you have to accommodate for them. So mm -hmm. we uh, try to accommodate as best as we can. Uh, there are some job requirements and job uh, um, jobs that they may not be able to do. Uh, for example, somebody may need to lift a 50-pound box. Well, if they have a bad back and they can't do it, well, I don't want to have them injure their back, their back anymore. Uh, but we can basically work as a team and try to get things going and do things where uh, that person doesn't necessarily have to do that particular part of the job responsibility. Um, but again, we, we want to make sure that everybody is safe, uh, that we work in a safe environment, and that also all people, whether it be race, gender, sex, whatever it may be, that everybody's welcome in our store. Yes, definitely. We accommodate with disabilities, definitely. Yes, absolutely. Okay. okay. Now, um, let's see, for resumes, you know, someone mentioned, you know, you bring in a resume that they can drop it off there. Um, would you give any other tips on resumes? You know, a lot of people are nervous about that part. The best thing is, is that resumes are fine because it gives you a kind of a brief uh, overlay of who the person is. But the best thing you could do is just talk to the hiring manager mm -hmm. and trying to get engaged with that person. And if you have a, a, a good uh, conversation with that individual, the chance of you getting a call back to for a, uh, a maybe a formal job interview is going to be greatly higher. So again, it's just it's not just about making a phone call or dropping off a resume. It's go and get it, engage yourself, and actually be aggressive. Not 
over, not overly aggressive, but be aggressive in trying to talk to whoever the hiring manager is. Okay. Right. I, I couldn't agree more. Um, you can speak to, let's say you're applying to the Gilroy location, speak to the hiring manager. However, um, you would need to apply online first, um, so there is a process. But yes, yeah, speaking to the hiring manager, letting them know why you want to work at that location. I, we've had a lot of candidates do that, and exactly, it, it's, it, you can present yourself not only on paper, but in person as well, so definitely a plus. All right, well, unfortunately, we've come to the end of our time. You guys had a lot of questions, but I want to thank you all for coming. All right, thank and we'll you. be thank back you. in thank a few you. minutes. Thank you.